Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I went and retrieved the Draconian Madstone for the Countess of Bruma, but I did feel like, yes, owning the Draconian Madstone was not gonna end well for her. So I did her a favour, stole it immediately, and then sold it for cold hard cash, so in the end, everyone's a winner. And today, as we're back in Anvil, we're turning our attention back to local matters, in particular, the Siren's Deception, because uh, there is apparently an all-female gang of thieves uh, operating in this city, who may well be called the Sirens uh, by the sound of the mission, and uh, bloody hell, the Sirens, uh, a gang of thieves operating in Anvil, my favourite city, oh yes, sign me up. So Gogan is intimately involved, do we need to go and have a chat with him? But, before we get into that, Two bits of business I need to take care of with, uh, yes, the local guilds. You see, I can't help but notice that, um, yes, the way the Fighters Guild operates is uh, a bit on the weird side, which is, uh, after they give you a mission, they say, hey, go check in with so-and-so for your next mission. But unlike the Majors Guild say, that doesn't immediately add the next mission to your journal. So, if you don't go there immediately, it's very easy to forget where you're supposed to be going. Which is precisely what's happened. I cannot remember where the next Fighters Guild mission is supposed to be. But here in Anvil, the guy here, he has given me a mission before. So, I'm gonna check in with him and see if maybe he can give me a reminder. Oh, also, Magli is here. I kinda thought you dropped out, but okay. Here we go, Azan. You have definitely given me work in the past. There have been a number of thefts in the area, and witnesses believe the thieves are holed up nearby. Check around, and see what you can learn. I'm not sure the numbers you'll be dealing with, so I'm sending you with another new recruit, Maglier. I believe you two have already met. Okay, hang on, when you say new recruits, He's not a new recruit unless, well, actually, you know what, he, he dropped out of the Skingrad Fighters Guild. So, okay, this guy may or may not know that Maglia has previously completely flipped up, but there's no option to, um, yes, talk to him about Maglia. So, okay, on we go, I suppose. Although, okay, this is starting to get complicated fast. So, uh, there's an all-female group of thieves uh, who I'm tracking down. And uh, there's also potentially the same or potentially a different group of thieves uh, that he's tracking down. But the reason everyone's worried is because uh, there have been some uh, local thefts. And that may have been me. I have definitely committed some robberies uh, against Jess, the shops on the waterfront. Okay, I may possibly be hunting for myself here. I can't say I know anything myself, but I heard that Newheim the Portly had some things stolen. And he's been asking around about it. Ask him. Okay, we've got ourselves a lead. And the lad has just shown up and is now apparently um, following me around. So, oh, I'm so sorry, by the way, I just ruined your dinner. Um, okay, so, are me and you cool, by the way? Because uh, I know I kind of snitched on you last time, but... I really got the impression, one, you didn't mind, and two, you didn't want to be in this guild anymore. Come on, let's get this mission done and get paid. Oh, I think he's a bit grumpy with me, actually. Oh, never mind, his disposition is maxed at 95, so... Okay, he was sounding a bit grumpy for a minute, but he doesn't seem to be holding too much of a grudge. Okay, I feel like maybe we should do this sooner rather than later, because, um... This lad now just seems to be following me. And I know he's pretty bloody incompetent, so if I do anything too hardcore, he's going to get himself killed, potentially. So, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's got a tiny crown over the cursor. That means you can't die. Brilliant. Still, before we get to that, nip into the Major's Guild, because yes, one of you can help me out here. Here we go. This lad will teach me destruction nice and cheap. Don't really need destruction, to be honest, but it is useful for boosting up willpower. But John, I hear you cry. If you want to boost up willpower, why not just train up restoration? That's a much more useful skill. You want to get that to 75 as soon as possible, so you can do more powerful fortify spells, etc, etc. And that's true, aside from, um, one small problem. 
You see, if I've understood this right, there's only a couple of trainers in the entire world who could actually train me in restoration. Because if you're better than the trainer who's trying to train you, then they can't train you. Meaning, I've got very limited options to boost my restoration. And one of those people works right here in the Temple of Mara, which, um, as you may have guessed, yeah, she's not doing so hot. She, um, she died at some point, meaning... Unless I have missed somebody, I think it's now impossible for anybody to train my restoration. All the surviving restoration trainers are worse than me at restoration, so I can't train restoration anymore. There being one exception, of course, the master restoration trainer, who can always train you in restoration. And someone in the comments let me know, it's the Priestess of Kavach, who obviously isn't in her temple anymore because it's been burnt down. She lives down here in this camp, which is why I missed her last time I went round all the temples. But, um, one small follow-up problem to the follow-up problem. She won't speak to me about restoration training until I've been given the Restoration Mastery mission, which can only be given to me when I'm good enough to begin Restoration Mastery at 75. So I think I might be stuck in a bit of a catch-22 at the moment, where... Yes, I basically have uh, no choice but to slowly, manually work my way to 75 restoration before this woman will actually bloody speak to me. Because I've spoken to everybody here and none of them are willing to talk to me about restoration. So, uh, yes, things have gone a bit weird with the old restoration business. So yes, if there's a solution to that, please let me know in the comments down below. But as far as I can tell, yes, it's now impossible for me to train restoration. Which is a bit of a shame, but um, okay, destruction's well going to have to do as an interim. So there we go, 5 out of 5 this level. And that's looking much better. Brilliant. And here we go, we were looking for Gauguin, intimately involved in this business. So, uh, here's his house, apparently it is not trespassing to go inside. Uh, right, buddy, I'm guessing by any bloody chance, did you get yourself a little bit seduced? Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. Okay, whatever's going on with this guy, he is not willing to speak to me right now. The women in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. The city guard hasn't done very much about it because, frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. Okay, so, yes, he got seduced, led out of town, then robbed and had to go back to his wife with his tail between his legs and admit what happened. So, oh dear, the lad's probably very much in the doghouse. When Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. No, it's not what you're thinking. He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. The ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. 100 gold. I mean, I'm going to be honest, that is chicken feed, but... Oh, go on, why not? If you'll point me in the right direction, I will do it because I want to join this gang. All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Gogan may be able to give you more information beyond that. Okay, so we've got a place to start too. Brilliant. I see my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly, they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing. Harlots. Just please, help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. I'm gonna be honest, buddy. It really sounds well beyond saving. Oh, and hello there. I was just going down to the flowing bowl, but, um, yes, I think someone who's part of the Mythic Dawn has just decided to ambush me, but Magler's just jumped in and seems to be doing 
pretty well, all things considered. So, uh, no need for me to uh, get involved, to be honest. Let's just see how Maglir does when I leave him all alone. So, uh, okay, I've got myself a bloody bodyguard all of a sudden. This is lovely. Just hop up onto the boat so we can watch from a good angle. Okay, I'll admit, I'm pretty sure the guard did get the, um, yes, the last hit in there. But, Maglir definitely helped. And seriously, there are so many bloody members of the Mythic Dawn out there. Like, I did not assume this was going to be a huge cult, but I just get attacked, like, on a regular basis when I'm going into town. These guys have got a lot of members. Oh, and hello, sexy. I literally just walked in, and Signy Homewrecker just came up to me. Never seen you here before. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind making a little extra money. I've put together a, well, a gang. We make money by luring fools out to the middle of nowhere and robbing them blind. Our targets, weak-willed men who are easily fooled into believing they will have their way with us. <laughs> oh, men are so gullible. I'll leave the decision up to you. If you want to join up, meet us at the Gwedden Farmhouse around 11 in the evening. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, and one more thing. If you breathe a word of this to the city guard, you won't live long enough to get whatever reward they're offering. Okay, I am 100% on board. That sounds amazing. Like, I can't judge these people. I am the guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. I go around robbing people all the time. Fair play to you for doing it in a stylish, sexy fashion. So, the way I see this, this is going one of two ways. Either I'm going to join their gang and start seducing men and stealing their stuff and it's going to be hilarious. 100% brand new feather in my Thieves Guild Guildmaster cap. Brilliant. Or these two women are the stupidest people in the world uh, and they're going to try and betray the hero of Kavach, traveling around with a bodyguard uh, who is also a vampire, assassin, mage, various other bits and pieces. So... Uh, Okay, let's, you know, just pop over in that direction and see how smart these women are, as it turns out. Okay, made it to the farmer house, nice and easy. Magla is still here, so... I mean, we've got the rest of the day to kill. They did say 11 at night, so... Okay, buddy. It's time for you to make up for your failure in skin grant, because I can't help but notice that, um... Yes, a giant demonic thing is just sitting at the top of the hill over here, so we're going to go in together and sort it out. Okay, I will assist with healing and whatnot. I will take care of that for you, so you can just take out the giant monster. Okay, just, just, anytime you're ready, just, just get it done. I might be able to assist with... Okay, it's possible he might be a little bit outclassed here. Um, okay, Maglia was definitely a bit outclassed. That didn't work so well. Also, there's now Storm Atronax. Okay, just summon reinforcements to make it a bit more of a fair fight, damn it. All right, that should do pretty well. All things are considered. Lovely. I think Maglia's back up and he's trying to take out the Storm Atronax. Beautiful. Okay, Maglir, just hold on. Hold on as best you can. I'm trying to keep you alive. If we're lucky, the Death Claw will draw a bit of attention in just a second. You can do it, Maglir. I believe in you. Come on. You can do this. Come on, buddy. Just keep hitting him. He's a big target. You can't possibly miss him. Holy flip, I think he did it. When I say he did it, I'm pretty sure Mr. Bitey did it. But you assisted, okay? We're going to turn you into the hero of Anvil Yats. Okay, important question. Will he literally follow me into hell? And the answer is, okay, he will as well. Brilliant. So, okay, I believe there's uh, already some trouble going on here. Yeah, he's just wandered over there to take care of a boob spider. That's fair enough. Shouldn't have drawn this guy's attention, to be honest. May have been a mistake. Okay, just... Just take out all of these individuals. One boob spider needs to go down in a... Oh, there's this more... Okay, you take out the small boob spider. That is kind of more your speed. You know what? I'm not going to lie. That's that's fair and reasonable. Let's take her down. Good. Boob spider has been defeated. Now we all join forces to take out this guy. Come on, Maglier. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. And... Okay, my guy's gone away. No, no, no. He did it. No one else could have done that. He was the one that just killed the Daedroth. Oh, buddy. 
You are getting somewhere, aren't you? Okay, I'm pretty sure I see what's supposed to be going on here. So that's my destination. But yeah, I can't go through that gate. Or to be precise, I'm not supposed to. But I'm pretty sure I could just hop around that. You can't, but um, you also can't die. So between the two of us, uh, we've got a competent planner here. So just get in over here. Activate Mega Boing. Jump and then... Okay, I'm through. I'm not 100% sure how, um, yes, my friend is planning to join us. But, um, he'll get there sooner or later, presumably. Oh, hang on. I think I just saw him for a split second behind the door. So, okay, right now he's stuck behind the door, just running into it. But, presumably, he'll catch up when we go into the tower. So, okay. New plan. What's going to happen is I'm going to run ahead and destabilize reality. You stay behind and distract all my enemies for me. Oh, yeah. He's caught up and he's immediately just wailing on at somebody. So we're just going to work under the assumption that that's going to uh, work out. Magli is unconscious. But, okay, when reality collapses, he will probably catch up and not be left behind. If he's lucky anyway. Oh, and we are literally already here. Okay, for some reason, yes, this one is very, very small indeed. So, okay, straight up to the top. Possibly Maglia will catch up again. He is being a very, very useful... Okay, he's not appeared this time. Possibly he's dead, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm seeing Atronax all around me. That's all absolutely oh. fine. Don't mind me, guys. I've got my incredibly ineffective tiny healing spell set. So I should be golden. That one is empty. That's incredibly disappointing. Grab that. Keep healing. On we go. And if we're lucky, Maglia will, like, you know, actually be here when we get back out again. I'm not 100% sure, though. And the answer is, hang about us. There we go. Good. Me and you sorting out Oblivion Gates together. I feel like you've made up for your previous failings, Maglia. And as for the new Sigil Stone, so that is going to be... Silence. For 15 seconds, which is very powerful against mages, I'll give you. But also, Chameleon 30%. So, okay. People were saying... Invisibility is, yes, very limited in this game because it breaks at the slightest provocation. But Chameleon, that's like, you know, traditional Fallout sneak. That just makes it really hard for enemies to detect you at all. So, okay, that one, that one might be good. And speaking of what might be good, it's time for an episode of Let's Talk All About The Things That John Got Wrong. So I took one look at this and said, oh my goodness, shock damage is amazing. Forget about shock shields, we don't care about that. I don't need resistance to shock. So apparently that's not what that means. Shock shield is actually really good because it's not just big resistance to electricity. It's also just straight up armor. That is armor 25% and shock resistance 25% on top of that. To be clear, my shield right now is shield 10%, which is just absolute garbage next to, yeah, that 25% shock shield. So... I should definitely be using that on my next set of armor. For the simple reason that, yes, intelligence maxed out, speed, well, okay, speed can't really max out in a way, but agility, as good as maxed out, willpower, moving in a good direction as well. We're running out of benefits in terms of attribute boosting that I can usefully apply to my armor, meaning shield, and in particular, very powerful element shields, those are going to be much more useful as time goes by. Like, in fact, yeah, right now, mind your manners, that is just not very good at all. Intelligence 10 points is giving me more magic points, but I could get more by just having bonus magic points. So, uh, going forward, whenever glass armor starts spawning, because seriously, glass weapons have been in the game for bloody ever at this point. So, sooner or later, surely I've got to find glass armor. When we go over, yeah, element shields and boost to magicka, that's probably going to be the way to go. Still, just wait till 11pm and uh, here we go. And also, oh blimey. Okay, I'm also now a vampire. So, uh, ladies, are you really planning to attack me and Maglia? Given uh, I literally just took down an oblivion gate. Alright, me and this guy together. Sorry, we took down an oblivion gate. And uh, I'm a vampire and a master thief and assassin and a mage and probably a few other things. A knight! I'm a knight in several knightly orders actually, so... Uh, Seriously, just, just don't. It would be a really dumb idea. Just 
teach me how to be an awesome seducy thief. All right, that'd be brilliant. I see you decided to take us up on our offer. Good. We could use another gal in the gang. Here's how it works. We case the flowing bowl for a likely subject. Namely, we look for a married guy who drinks a lot. Then we'll send you in there where you charm the man and get him to come out to some location we pick to rob him. When he gets there, we make him take off all his clothes, which is very easy, by the way. While they're helpless, that's when we spring the trap. So far, we haven't had to draw one drop of blood. The best part of the whole thing is that the men are so embarrassed they won't tell the guards. So, the bottom line is, you show a little skin, just a tease, no one touches you. What do you say? I've got to give them. This is a well thought through plan that is working really nicely for them. I admire this. This is great. Well, that's never happened before. I suppose we'd have to kill you. I mean, we can't have you going back to Anvil and ruining the whole plan. But why say no when it's so much easier and more lucrative to say yes? Or are you here for something else? Okay, I'm deeply concerned that the game's not going to let me join this gang, which I really bloody want to do, but I've got literally no option but to say I don't want to join, and also I want the ring. But no, seriously, I want to do this. Damn, I knew it. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't think they would be stupid enough to send someone alone. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake. Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. No, 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 no. I do want to cooperate. I absolutely want to. Oh, bloody hell. Right, Maglia. Apparently we don't get much of a choice in this because... No, seriously, I, I I would like to. I'm I'm happy to yield. Okay, I I, I want to yield. I, I'm trying to yield. Uh, also, they've got a kajit, obviously, for people who are more into cat girls. So um, okay, I'm just going to defend right here, Maglia. You just stab him in the back, okay? You are the rogue. I am the warrior right now. So uh, I mean, he's doing okay to be honest. Just stand in the corner. Here we go. That they're, they're really not doing it. Uh, that well at the moment and anytime you there we go maglia has killed one come on maglia you can do this you can take him out i'm just going to uh, yeah guard uh, right here my intelligence is not in good shape right now i think i've got like zero intelligence because i've got like no magic power whatsoever also they're just really determined not to take out maglia they're just standing there as he wails on them. Eventually, they're going to go down to Maglia. I mean, if nothing else, this is an excellent time for me to train my block. I mean, my block could do with a bit of training. Wouldn't mind, you know, having a nice little bit of uh, lovely, lovely endurance. Next level up. That'd be fine, too. So just keep on keeping on. I'm pretty sure she's drinking potions right now. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably do the same. Okay, it's now down to nothing but Zarina. Oh, good name, Zarina. Excellent name. And she's just, um... I think she's basically run out of stamina at the moment. Yeah, she cannot touch me right now. This is... In fact, I'm just going to get on with um with looting. This is this is all absolutely fine. So, there's the basement key. There's the gold. Don't mind me. There's a bit more gold too. I mean, I'll give them. This scam was well put together. All right. You put up some drapes, candlelight, some wine. There is some good seduction stuff going on. But, ah, cheap wine. All right, it looks fancy, but it's actually done on the cheap. Okay, that's a lovely attention to detail on the old set dressing. So just, uh, yep, crack this open, keep on keeping on. At this point, I'm happy to just ignore her. Light armor's going up in the long run, so it's all going to be fine. There we go. He finally bloody took her out. Though I am extraordinarily sad I couldn't just, you know, join their sisterhood. All right, I wanted to join the Seducing Thieves Guilds. Also, oh bloody hell, Maglia, something's going really wrong with your face. Fine, let's move. Oh, I think he's got two faces. I know how to fix that. Here we go, fix a follower double face bug. Just hold still for one second. And okay, we finally got some use out of that thing. Oh, and hello. All of a sudden, dressed up as guards, it's Milona and Gogan. This would explain why she was less annoyed than I would have expected at her husband. 
I'm guessing that yes, this was entirely a sting operation, given she did specifically say earlier, the ring turned out to be a fake. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. I suppose you could say we work undercover. We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. Okay, so that's why I couldn't join the gang, because this was a sting, and the police were waiting just outside, so... That's a real shame. I would really have enjoyed doing this mission on the gang side, but, um... Okay, Oblivion, for once, you've slightly let me down there, alright? I wanted the option to take off my armor, put on some fancy revealing stuff, and go seduce some people in the nearby tavern. That would have been great. Okay, buddy, you did well in that last mission. I think it's time to take you to the next level, alright? It's time to induct you as an assassin. Because is it possible, just possible, that Maglia could take out the unarmed superboxer who's waiting for me in Bruma, because I bet he could. So okay, this is the house right here, but, 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 I've just realised something. Maglia, buddy, I don't think right now you are strong enough to win this fight. You would- also you've got two faces again, haven't you? Bloody useless. Stop having two faces, please. So as I was saying as the sun slowly chips away at my health, Right now, this guy probably can't win, but, 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 what if I was able to fortify him? What if I turn Maglia into Superman? You see, up to this point, my fortification has been focused on myself, but, um, no, 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 no. It could also be set to touch, meaning as a result of that, we could make Maglia mighty. I have no idea what his current attributes are, by the way, but I'm going to assume he's got, you know, maybe average stats overall. So 50 would get him up to about 100. Okay, I can do that for 16 seconds. That's the best I can get away with. So we're going to create the spell Maglia Smash so I can make Maglia hit a lot harder. But, you know, in future, if I need to buff someone I'm traveling with, same basic principle applies. I can also give him, yeah, shield 30%. That's not so good because, yeah, unfortunately, it's an alteration spell. My alteration is not yet 50. Okay, spells have been set. We are now ready to go. Beautiful. So, okay, Maglia, I believe in you, all right? I know you're only an apprentice assassin and this is your first day, but I believe you can do this. Okay, slight complication doesn't appear to be here right now. Oh, hang on. Yes, he is. There we go. Trap door underneath all this. So, okay. Get ready to go here. Get ready to go. Beautiful. And then just mighty. In we go, buddy. And I will, yeah, top you up if need be during the fight. And okay, there's our lad. Could get behind him and just knife him, but no. No, no, no. Maglia, this one's on you. I don't recall inviting you into my house. Leave quickly, or we will have a problem. Oh, buddy, we've already got a problem. And his name is Maglia the Mighty. All right, weapons out at Maglia. Maglia? Maglia, you have one job. Maglia, weapons out, please. Weapons out. Okay, this is, um, this is slightly awkward. I was kind of assuming you were going to... Assist with this. Okay, no, no, no. We are going to sue Tony Silent Assassin this. Now, the game did say he bribed the guards so the guards won't come after him. However, you can't bribe mountain lions, can you? So, okay, we might just need to go a little bit further than I was planning. But um, we're going to make this work, damn it. We're going to make this work. So, Maglia, please. Seriously, this is... This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for you. Is he willing to follow me? Out of the city. Okay, the lad's willing to follow me outside, and yes, at this point, I cannot help but wonder. Sure, he might be able to pay off the guards, but he definitely can't pay off demons from a hell. So, uh, 
okay, I'm just curious at this point. Can I lead this guy into, uh, yes, that beautiful, beautiful Oblivion Gate right next to Applegate Farm? Here we go, he has made it, and uh, do we actually have any monsters around here? Okay, no monsters just yet by the looks of it. I think, yes, they died uh, last time we were here, so... Uh, Okay, buddy. You want to come punch me? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be a bit of a bigger journey than you were expecting. Holy flip me, he's here. He is actually willing to follow you through Oblivion Gate. So, okay. Now we just need to find somebody to, uh, yes, lead him into, though. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Could I just murder him by getting him in the lava? Okay, just get a good angle. Jump across. And, buddy, you are welcome to... Oh, he's actually genuinely doing it. He's genuinely just crossing the lava. So am I, actually. So am I. Keep getting my timings wrong here. And jump. There we go. Get my timings wrong. And there we go. He has been defeated by lava. I'm going to be honest. Things aren't looking great for Maglia. You deserve this. All right. This here. This is what you deserve, you stupid bastard. To spend eternity suffering in a lava pit because you wouldn't fight this idiot. Okay, unfortunately, when I collapsed to reality, yes, Magli got teleported out too. And strangely, so did Gigasta's corpse, which I wasn't really expecting. And by sheer coincidence, that is an identical sigil stone. So that is now a double chameleon. I get the feeling that could actually be pretty bloody good. Okay, I will give you a B plus for clearing out Oblivion Gate. But it's got to be a fail for assassin duties. You just did not do a good job there. By which I mean you didn't even bloody try. So, okay Maglia, I'm so sorry. You are hereby expelled from the Dark Brotherhood forever. Let's get your stupid mission involving some thieves or whatever sorted out so we can get rid of you. Here we go. Newheim the Portly. This is supposedly our lead, so... The lad's been robbed, uh, possibly by me. We can't rule it out anyway. Aye, I know about those scum. Rotten bastards robbed me blind, they did. Stole a family heirloom. Bunch of Bosmer, if you can believe that. No offense to you or your friend, of course. Last I heard, they were holed up in Hirota Cave, not too far from here. Okay, now I will give this game. That is amazing attention to detail. There is a special voice line recorded that acknowledges both I and Maglia next to me are Bosma. And also, why does everybody in this bloody game have an heirloom that you keep somewhere sufficiently insecure that it's the first thing that gets bloody stolen? Took my flagon, they did. Passed down to me from my father, Rolf, and from his father, Torbalt. It's a wondrous cup. Keeps ale cold and sweet. Been drinking from a lousy wooden tankard since. It's just not the same. If you can find it, you'd have the gratitude of Newheim the Portly. Okay, cave's barely up the road, so yes, no trouble there whatsoever. But Maglia, this here, you are taking care of it, okay? I have reset the Maglia spells. You are going to do this, all right? I don't want to hear any complaints from you whatsoever. This is why we're here. You are going to do it. I am going to basically give you magical steroids to make sure you can pull this off. But I am not swinging my blade one time during this mission. All right. We are going to end our professional relationship on a high notes. Oh, and apparently I've actually um already been in here. Okay, that's that's interesting. I can't remember exploring this place, but apparently I did, because the map's already filled out. Okay, should be two in this next room. Maglia, get him! And Maglia is... Maglia. Where's your sword? Maglia, Maglia, why don't you have a sword? Maglia, this is... Okay, this is just sad. This is really bloody sad right now. Okay, protect Maglia. Oh, bloody hell, hang on. Make sure we don't cast it on the wrong person. There we go. We got Maglia right there. Make sure Maglia is strong. Keep punching him, Maglia. Okay, and also, this person has a warhammer. Come on, Maglia. I believe in you. Just keep him nice and mighty. There we go. Maglia has punched a mage to death. Brilliant. Come on, Maglia. I believe in you. You are ridiculously strong right now. I have not enough magic for this. Come on, Maglia. I believe in you. Oh, and la -dee da we've got ebony arrows here. Have not seen them before. I think he's almost... 
He did almost have her, then he fell over. This is just embarrassing. Come on, Maglia. And she's down on the ground. Finish her off. Come on. One good punch right here. And there we go. Bit more magic. Strength up by 50 points. That has got to make a difference. She's not even wearing armor, Maglia. She's just wearing a dress. You should be able to do this, damn it. And there we go. Finally, she goes down. She had a good bow on her, but you rushed her. So it all worked out in the end. Now, I can't pickpocket better weapons onto you, can I? Okay, there's there's a steel warhammer right here. Would, would you like to use it? Here you go. Look, look, it's right here. You can use it. I, I promise you can use it. Maglid, please. I'm begging you. Use the Warhammer. You don't have to punch them all to death. Okay, next up it's a group of uh, three. So that could potentially be a little bit on the nastier side, actually. But can I wait an hour? Okay, wait an hour so that he gets, um, yes, his health back. Also, I'm a vampire now. And I'm pretty sure we've drawn at some attention. The music's getting all... Fighty. Somebody. There we go. Someone's aware of us. Maglia. There we go, Maglia. Get in there with your... Oh, he picked up. He actually picked up. Okay. Maglia has now got a weapon though. Oh, blimey. He's, he's going down. He's going down very fast. They are quite a lot tougher than him. I'm not sure I can keep him alive. No, I could definitely not. I'm going to try and keep him alive. Come on, Maglia. Come on, Maglia. I believe you. Maglia is unconscious. Okay, we might need to take out maybe one or two of them. Oh, hang on. That guy's got an elven helmet. Get him. Okay, take out one right now. We've also got... Hang on, is that Maglia? Is that Maglia or is that... That is not Maglia. That's someone else, unfortunately. Okay, I think Maglia's just kind of uh, got himself stuck somewhere over. No, there we go. He's caught up. He's actually caught up. He's doing it. He's going to flipping do it. Maglia, I believe in you. There we go. There's some power for you, Maglia. And there's... Never mind, he fell over. Okay, he's going to get back up again in a moment. There we go. He's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. Give him the shield. Give him the shield. Give him the convalescence. Okay, we're going to do this. He's going to take out at least one of this group. Okay, never mind. He didn't. I had to do it for him. But it doesn't matter. I know one of you had what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. The elven helmet at long cocking last. Also, would you like this ebony longsword? Because I'm going to be honest, it is much better than the Warhammer you're using. Oh, naturally. Now I find two Oven Helmets in a single bloody cave. Obviously. Obvious cocking lay. Okay, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I shouldn't believe in you. Maglia is unconscious again. Oh, and I'm taking a lot of magical damage, actually. Okay, these guys are mysteriously tough. Okay, officially we've succeeded in clearing the cave. Going to be honest, I did have to do maybe... 65% of it in the end, but... I mean, you are going to have some good scars, though. Ooh. That last one looks unfortunate, actually. Although, okay, hang about. The game says now I should just go back to Azan. I kind of thought we were supposed to be getting the magical goblet. Where's the magical goblet? Oh, there we go. Right there. Beautiful. So, that there, that was not part of the main mission, apparently. But we are going to do it anyway. Ah, you've got it. Thank the gods. Finally, my mead will stay cold and won't taste like goblin piss. Take these and my thanks. All right, step one done there. And you are giving me something, presumably. Special brew. Lovely. So, reduces willpower and intelligence, restores fatigue, gets my personality and strength up a bit. Theoretically could be useful, but I feel like, yes, we might just put that on one side. Also, my vampirism may have got a little bit out of hand here. So, okay, I need to find someone to uh, nibble on at some point or another. And back to Azan to officially wrap things up. Cleared them out, did you? Good work, you two. I see big things for you with the guild. Here's your payment. No, 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 not, not him. Not Maglia. He definitely does not have a bright future ahead of him, all right? He bloody stood there and let me be attacked for several minutes. And then he fell in a lava pool and just sat there like a bloody useless lump. And then finally, I tried to encourage him to take out the thieves and he bloody couldn't. He was cocking useless. I don't have anything for anyone in your rank. 
Check with Burr's Grokash in Shadenhall. He might have something. Okay, try and remember this time. Next time we're in Chayton Hall, we need to speak to the guy there. Though actually, now I think about it, I've just thought of a use for Maglia. Actually, as it turns out, no. He's not even useful as a vampire snack. Because for some baffling reason, the lad doesn't go to bed. It's half past three in the morning, and he just is standing here, refusing to go to bed. Cocking useless. There is no use for this guy. He is the worst character in the game, and I hate him. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to make do eating a Zam. So, okay, let's wrap up today with a very sad farewell. I'd say it's time for the Cowl of the Druid to be retired, so that never again will characters be mysteriously pink and wibbly while I'm chatting to them. Instead, it's time to complete the elven look. Brilliance. But if I'm saying goodbye to Counter the Druid, I need something to replace it. So this was uh, Detect Life, 40 feet. What I can do is replace that with, yes, a new Detect Life spell, 40 feet. Best I can do is uh, 70 seconds, uh, not that expensive to cast. So uh, let's get that in the spell book too. Though this does raise the question, yes, what should my new helmet actually do? Because agility is about to be just maxed out in general. Willpower is moving in a good direction. Intelligence is, yeah, pretty much already maxed out. Speed is very high indeed. Though theoretically we could just make that go even higher. There's no real benefit to, uh, yeah, boosting conjuration by 10 points as best as I can tell. Possibly the cost of spells uh, would go down. But honestly that doesn't sound spectacular. Marksman is, yeah, I believe base 84. I think I'm wearing a ring that boosted by 10 to 94. So that's moving in the right direction already. There's not much benefit to be got out of that at this point. So one easy option, yeah. Fortify Magicka, 24 points. Alternatively, nice and simple, 10 points of speed. But you know what? I don't think anything's more tempting than, yeah, what the Sigil Stones can do for me. So this is going to be my Chameleon Helmet. Welcome to the rotation, a hide and sneak. Still, while I'm in this room, I am wearing a basic ring of speed right now. Only eight points on it. And I do have a much more fancy ebony diamond ring right here. Welcome to the rotation if you can't stand the feet. Also, does anyone know how long I've just, um, not been wearing my speed amulet? Because it just wasn't on and I suspect it might have been some time. Ah, you see, now that there, that's starting to look. Good. Oh, also, um, I'm invisible now. Wasn't actually expecting for this to be a stealth boy, but, um, apparently I'm invisible. Only, like, 30% invisible, but still, that's, um, that's still good, presumably. Still, now I'm unexpectedly invisible, I'd say let's call it a part there, because next time... Okay, before I bloody forget again, we're going to the Fighters Guild at Jaden Hall to pick up the next mission. And I strongly suspect I'm a matter of minutes away from a hitting level 20. And when that happens, Daedric Princes are suddenly willing to do business with me. So, join me next time as we do a few more deals with demons. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away, go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.